Trees felled by Typhoon Mongkut and stored on the site of Hong Kong's former airport at Kai Tak will soon have to be moved so the land can be sold. The city's Environmental Protection Department, EPD, said a new arrangement for the debris would be announced next week. According to the Lands Department, two of four sites lent to the Civil Engineering and Development Department for temporary storage of the trees have already been returned in line with a deadline of October 30. However, the loan of the remaining two was extended for another month. The four sites are proposed land sale sites scheduled for disposal in the second half of the 2018-19 financial year, a spokeswoman for the Lands Department said. The spaces have been marked for new housing. Environment officials said the area must be cleared soon to reduce the risk of fires and pest problems. But the EPD did not say where the trees would go, citing its announcement to be made next week. The old airport runways have been covered with 7,400 truckloads of tree waste since Typhoon Mongkut hit on September 16. The sites have been receiving about 100 truckloads a day. Some 13,400 tons have been sent to the West New Territories landfill via Laurier Barge since September 28. 7,000 tons of trees felled by Typhoon Mongkut have ended up in Hong Kong landfill, government admits Jan Thompson, a wood recycler and biomass trader, said he felt frustrated at hearing such a large amount of tree waste had ended up in the ground. He has been lobbying environment officials since early October to get the tree trunks in a chipper at Kai Tok and ship the waste to power plants in partnerships with biomass trading companies. This tree waste can be turned into biomass to provide energy. Thompson said. It's such a waste sending it to landfill, rotting trees would release methane about 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide, which would contribute to global warming, he added. No more than eight weeks would be required to ship the necessary equipment to Hong Kong to shred 14 tons of branches per hour, 18 to 20 hours per day. Hong Kong's trees are at risk, more from people who don't want them in urban areas than from typhoons but Thompson's proposal did not get a reply from the EPD for almost three weeks. He eventually received an email last Sunday morning, one day after the Post published a story on the idea. Dr. Keith Lai Chan Kit, acting senior environment protection officer, said Thompson was welcome to take away by his own means as much tree waste as he wanted, free of charge. But Lai turned down the proposal to bring in a wood chipper because the Kai Tok site needed to be cleared as soon as practicable. The department said it would make necessary arrangements to facilitate Thompson collecting tree waste. But Lai later told the Post the EPD would not cover transport or labor costs as Thompson's proposal involved a profit motive. Thompson replied, Your suggestion to drive the tree waste to a plot where we can ship it and then drive it back to the harbor for export is a waste of energy. If the wood can be chipped on site and then exported by ship from Kai Tok, that is the most economical and environmentally efficient way, Thompson suggested he could use more powerful chipping equipment to speed up the process. But his proposal was rejected again on October 29 with the same reasons. Typhoon Monku tree debris shouldn't be sent to Hong Kong's already overflowing landfills. If they had replied to me earlier, I could have provided more solutions to fix these problems. Thompson said, the PD should have worked with business professionals to deal with the tree waste. The department said it would not rule out exploring the possibility of using the waste as alternative fuel. Some would be used as compost at the government's animal waste composting plant and as a bulking agent in recycling at its Organic Resources Recovery Center Phase 1. But the EPD did not specify the amounts involved. The public have also been doing their bit to deal with the trees. Some 85 Hong Kongers have taken 435 pieces of wood, and 261 pieces have been transferred to government community green stations to be used again.